Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel and this is same series of clean architecture with CQRS and mediator pattern. Okay, and so far what we have covered in this series actually. So we covered actually create our project setup you know with the all the layers and then after that we have covered you know uh, that get uh, in the query in this query you know secure as pattern is that there are the two th two things like query and command so in this query section we cover you know get all all list get all list uh, queries okay so get blocks query we have covered but yeah in uh, also we have covered actually mappings okay imapper so that is generic imapper which is we send the you know domain layer entity we will get that you know view model entity so such kind of things we have covered and in this series in this session we'll cover we'll actually implement this get by get block by id okay that query will implement okay so before proceeding this session i'm especially recommend watch uh go visit my channel and watch my you know from starting to when we start that clean architecture so that you that will help for you to understand like okay how we can create a project setup how we can create an you know, architecture how we can create a you know, domain layer how we can implement that you know query command etc etc okay so yeah let's get started so first what need to do uh first i need to create a you know query class okay of the get y block and also why i'm creating you know one by one every why i'm creating is showing that on a one by one implementation because every implementation like is you know, get blocks or get by id get by block by id or you know create update delete so every things have you know some everything is a similar but yeah there is a some you know minor difference so that I want to understand I want to you know help to understand like okay what is the differences and how we can achieve if such kind of scenario will need in our real project okay so actually it is a, also a real project example so that's why I'm creating from the scratch and end-to-end -end flow okay so first we need to create a class okay let me create a class okay the call is you know uh, get blocks by id query okay so let me get that get blog by id query okay create that class okay and then make it internal to public okay and then set as the class and same things what we have done in our you know get list of blocks uh, query class so i need to inject you know i request i request okay and here actually what we need to return okay so we have to specify the return type of here that response what is the response we have to return over here so basically we have to response you know blocks view okay which is already created in my previous session so and also what need to do like see this query we need to require one id you know id parameter okay so that id parameter how we can you know pass that id parameter so we have to create a one property over inside this query okay it is very simple just passing the integer so if you want to pass an integer so you can give that you know for example i'm just giving an example so if i want to pass a parameter as integer so i can set as integer or if you want to send a parameter as a class so you can send a class or you can send a you know, parameter as like a string so whatever types you can you want to send your query so you can send it to here okay and just name it to like as here for this in this in this scenario i'll pass it to blog id okay so that i can get that block id from ui uh, from ui and get that uh, you know filter that uh, from our db and get that response of that blocks okay okay so that is done and then what need to do i need to create in a handler so query is done now need to create an an handler okay so let me create same as it is get blog by id query handler uh, 
handler okay so same we have to just change it to internal to public okay and again we have to inject you know i request handler okay i already explained in a detail in previous session so please watch that one okay so see this i request handler what is doing actually they expecting actually uh, two overload method okay one is in our know, request and another is a response so what is our request our request is that query what is that you know we have created a query so just call that query get get block by id query so this this is that one okay and then what is the response we have to return back so we want to return back our responses block view model okay and then what need to do see once you specify your request and response okay in this i request handler actually it is saying like we need to implement okay see this does not implement interface because this is an interface so we have to implement that interface okay so implement an interface just you can just implement okay uh, just extract that method okay so see this is a already created already generated created like a handler handle and whatever request this is our request and this is a cancellation token and this is our response type okay and now in this handle we have to call our repository okay so where is our repository our repository is in our domain layer okay so if you go to domain layer see here is our repository okay this is abstraction repository so implementation would be in our you know that uh, infrastructure layer so that will cover in next upcoming section so so yeah don't worry about that okay so yeah as of now we can we have to call this one okay in our domain layer uh, in our application layer so where is that okay here handler okay so how we can inject it is very simple just create a constructor of that uh, handler class okay it is shortcut like ctor and the step and here you can just inject okay pass it to, to as a repository as a inject and we have to register also you know this one in our you know in our api layer okay in our user interface so don't worry about that that i will show you how we can do that okay so yeah and also we have to create a assign a private field and assign to in in this constructor okay so this is done okay and after that what need to do we have to call this we have to implement our method okay so this is our uh, repository and in this repository call to our method okay. where is our method get by id get by id async okay and in this async method see the expected is id so where i will get that id this id will get in this request parameter okay in this request dot you will get that block id which is we created okay see this is our query so this is our request in this request we have as a request id which will be getting from user interface okay so go back to here okay and then see uh, now it is complaining okay so what is this complaining is complaining just set as the response type okay so just make it to await and async okay also we have to return this block view model okay so but you can see just zoom in for a little bit okay so let me again okay so see the response type let me zoom in again okay so see response type whatever our repository is returning is a you know domain entity okay so that needs to be convert in our you know that uh, in this you know view, block view model okay in our you know uh, logic business logic entity or business logic uh, view model okay so how we can do that what need to do simply you just inject imapper interface over here okay and change it to the you know because this is not private it is a simple like imapper class so just create a variable over here and control dot 
just assign a create you know that uh, that uh, create a private variable over here and then assign to your imapper variable okay so it is simple and then what need to do just store a variable whatever response we are getting uh, store over here in our repository so we are getting response we are getting response of this you know entry domain entity okay and it is simple we have to imapper dot map okay and specify see destination what is the destination our destination is blog view model okay and then what is the source source is this domain entity okay so we pass it over here and simply we have to return because this is our return type okay so this is this is complete okay let me build so that we can make sure everything is building fine okay see complaining it is not complaining any error it is not giving any error so yeah and just final rebuild so that we can make sure everything is fine okay so see this is done for this you know get by block query okay and thus next session will actually implement in a command and inside the command will first create you know, will you implement that create block delete block then update block okay so till now thank you have a nice day and please don't forget to subscribe.